Hello good people! This is Fisher12 and we have another exciting episode of the Black Ops show for you guys today as always and this episode is going to be an eSports roundup video. Last Wednesday Cherik had their world eSports reveal and they introduced tons of changes to how competitive Call of Duty will be played as well as announcing a switch to PS4 for competitive play as well. So we're going to talk a little bit about those changes and what else Cherik is doing to further eSports this year. So, one of the newest features that was added to competitive play was the ban and protect system, and this is a pre-game draft system where each team is going to take turns switching off and either ban an item from the game or protect an item from being banned that game. And I happen to think that this is such an innovative idea because it solves one of Call of Duty Esports' biggest issues, which is repetitiveness. You know, you see the same games on the same maps with the same guns, but this new ban and protect system will allow additional variety between games. And on Twitter, Vondahar also explained that there can be globally banned items and you can customize the ban and protect list to include any game element you want. They also introduced a specialist draft system, and this also happens pre-game, where each player is going to go back and forth selecting their specialist for that match. And the catch here is that each team can only have one of each specialist. So that's going to add an extra layer of strategy and an extra layer of balance. So if there's one specialist that works particularly well for a game mode, not everyone on that team is going to be able to use it. And because of this, I think we're going to get much more exciting games. I think this is almost kind of similar to the pro mod system where each player is going to have a more specific role or more specific purpose. And Treyarch didn't want the viewer experience for Call of Duty to be anything less than lackluster, so they made changes in that area as well. You can now specify team names and primary team colors, so we can see an actual phase versus optic instead of a Sentinel versus Atlas with some creative graphic overlay of their logos. They also added some overlays in-game to show loadouts and equipment customizations. There's a new listen-in feature, and you can even save your preset game configurations and go back to them later. And probably the most useful tool that they added was a new quick settings menu that's going to allow casters to change settings in the middle of the game on the fly. And all of this is tied together inside of Treyarch's new league play mode, which is called Arena. Arena is going to have a total of 20 ranks, the highest being Master Division, and there have been a few changes made to the way that promoting and demoting works. Losing two games will drop you in rank, and ranking is strictly based on wins and nothing else. And then every five ranks, you're going to need even more wins. You're going to need to win more games in a row in order to progress to the next set of levels. So they're really trying to extend the longevity of this mode by increasing the amount of wins that you need to get, increasing the number of levels and the number of ranks to reach. So I think that just really goes to show how much Treyarch wants its players to be dedicated to this game mode. And then lastly, Treyarch announced a new live event viewer. Not too many details were revealed about this, but it's supposed to allow players to watch Call of Duty esports events directly from the game. It's possible that maybe this gets tied into Safe House somehow, or maybe this is a pregame lobby aspect. Another theory, which I hope doesn't come true, is that this is going to be part of another derivative of COD TV or a similar companion app. But it's clear that Treyarch is really trying to promote and push and further Call of Duty Esports this year with all of the changes they're making, especially with this live event viewer allowing just the casual player to start watching live events and just, you know, see what it's about. So I'm really excited to see what comes of this, but that will unfortunately bring us to the end of today's episode. So make sure to leave a like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more Black Ops 3 content. There are new uploads every other day. Once again, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And take care.